What is up guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to be jumping into a video that I just want to get out to you guys. It's been something I've been trying to work on but I just haven't had the time to do the video and edit it and then when I did do the video I was just kind of, just kind of like kind of iffy with it. Um, there hasn't been a lot of news with Tiny Tina's Wonderlands as of recent. We do have the latest DLC that we're getting you know the four weeks that we get for that DLC. Um, I have not covered that yet on the channel. I do want to show you guys something. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys might have seen it. Um, but right now, I'm sitting in the bedroom. So I, in my bedroom, I basically turned it into my painting station slash other kind of content creating room. So the Borderlands collection is basically in the next room over and then um, and Wonderland stuff is in there and this is kind of like becoming my bunkers and badasses project room uh, along with my spot to sleep at um, it's a lot more uh, together in here like it's not I don't have to work with a collection just around me because um, sometimes that does get difficult so I basically kind of like made it real neat and everything's available to me where I can just go ahead and um, just start making minis and stuff like that. I don't have to move anything or get anything like situated before doing it. I can sit down, pick up a mini, paint it, and nothing's in the way. I do want to show you guys the setup in here um, and just talk about some future things for the content on the channel. Um, also... You guys may have heard in previous videos, I do also have a new girlfriend and she is really amazing. She's really cool. I'm having a lot of fun time with her. Um, so a lot of the time I'm, I'm actually trying to make time and spend time with her um, on top of work. So that's kind of another reason why the content started slowing down a little bit. But really, Wonderlands, like the past couple weeks, we haven't really had much patch notes so to like worth co covering like it was just really really minor things and then um i've been just trying to get this all situated so since this is now all situated for the most part i had this like dungeon and dragon d20 banner up it's like a blanket but i did it because it was a d20 i mean that's cool as shit um I did get a, another box set for Nerdvana Games, Bunkers and Badasses, because the guys that I play with every Sunday, they really want to play Bunkers, and I wanted to have a sealed copy for the collection, so whatever happens to the one that's open, happens. So, I'm just going to kind of like just show you guys the room. I have other banners and stuff that I can hang up. I'm also getting some banners in the mail, because I have Amazon Prime again, so... Um, I ordered some Wonderlands banners to kind of put in here because I didn't want it to be too D and D, but I have plans for the D and D stuff I have here. So I'll kind of explain some of that in this video. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I really just wanted to get this video out to you guys so you guys didn't think I died. So everything's cool. I just want to show you guys some really cool things with the channel. So let's get into that. All right, guys, so as you walk into the bedroom, um, you're kind of just greeted with this table. And then, of course, my bed is right there. It's probably covered in fur right now because of Harley. And then to the right is where that bookshelf is with all this stuff for uh, Bunkers and Badasses. I'll explain why I have all the rest of this stuff. Um, so I wanted to make sure, because if you go in here, right, if you go into the other room where the collection is, so I got some two. I got two new things for the collection here. Um, two statues. Um, when you come in here to this room, right? Like, I had to. So what I had to do was I used to have this chair, and I would set up all my paint stuff over here. I would move these things out the way, and I'd set them aside. And then I'd get all my paint stuff. I'd leave my paints over here to to work on it. But it was a pain in the ass because I'd sit here with this chair. Harley would, would go ahead and she would squeeze in between this and push me out the way. It was just a pain in the ass. So I moved all the stuff that was over here stacked up. I put the Wonder, one of the Wonderlands banners that came in one of these box sets um, up. 
I have this just kind of ready to go. Collections, you know, no different except for some new things. It's dustier, but um, I did get, I got these two, which I'm really excited about. I wasn't going to show you guys this yet. This is kind of how they came. Like, they came today, and they were already dusty, so I don't know. I have to, I got to dust this whole fucking room, so I don't, I don't even know why I even just said, oh, I got to dust these. This whole room has to get dusted. Um, the Wonderland stuff is, you know, I got some new things here. I got this wallet today as well. Um, my pops, I was going to cover the pops, but I've been waiting for Butt Stallion to come in. Um, I have one pre-ordered at GameStop and I just ordered one on Amazon at this point because I was just waiting too long. So hopefully that comes around. These are the Wonderland stuff that I've been working on. You guys have seen this before, especially if you are on my uh instagram i'm pretty sure you've seen all of this stuff so that's that um but yeah let's go ahead back into the other room so i can explain some of the stuff that's going on with that in there okay so we're back in the room um all right the fan's running it's hot as hell so i got it kind of set up with these lights they change colors and everything which is really cool i like how i just got this up and running like this it's and also it's really nice to have lights like this so i don't have to have something bright on in the middle of the night um but what i really am excited about to tell you guys is that i finally found a ps5 like i got one for a really decent price like i literally got this for 450 bucks from gamestop i finally got one used i didn't have to buy it in a damn bundle it is awesome i have a bunch of different controllers i got my girlfriend a purple one which is behind here because i just decided to do that um hers is still in the box it's new she wanted a purple controller because it's one of her favorite colors um and she wanted me to definitely get spider-man of uh, the remaster and then spider-man miles morales so i got that for her um i've got more copies of borderlands one two uh three and uh pre-sequel so that i don't have to keep interchanging them basically back and forth in here in the other room and then i got the ps5 version of wonderlands because why not i had a free upgrade but fuck it like i really wanted that box art so fuck it um these are the dice that came with the opened bunkers and badasses that i got so i just kind of put them up for right now i do want to use those eventually um i just kind of have a setup um with D, D like stuff because of course Barks of Bad Axes is basically D, &D Borderlands. So here's a lot of the minis that I am working on. Uh these are actually the bunkers, the uh the bunkers and badasses minis. So you can see here I swapped the bases on these. So like the I took the bases off and I just started making different ones with different bases. I don't want to go through all of them because we'll be sitting here all damn night trying to figure out how to do this but i got this going on so that's all of the characters in the front with their kind of worked on bases um here's two that i've previously finished painting for my bunkers of badasses campaign there is so many more minis than just this like i have so many minis to actually go through a paint and everything and i could do that as time goes by maybe I, sh I should just get most of the stuff done as needed um i know the people that are in my crew my gaming crew aren't gonna watch this video so i can show you guys some really cool stuff these are a bunch of bosses they will face and cthulhu is going to be one of the last ones but I'm really excited to bring like the Wendango in there, um, the wrecked ship slash transformer, I guess, whatever the hell that is. That's going to be for my pirate quest for them guys. Um, this is actually a Warhammer. This is a Warhammer um, mini, but I bought it because it's just a cool like kind of tree woman, I guess. Like it's gonna work. It's gonna it's gonna work out pretty well. And here's some more bosses I just want to kind of bring into the thing. And what, that's one of the dragons. I got three or four. Um, I'm on this vampire kick right now. Like, I want to get a bunch of vampire minis. So the best way for me to do it was I got the Dungeons & Dragons uh, Castle Ravenloft board game. There's some minis in there. Of course, I had to get Strahd. I bought this because I just wanted that Curse of Strahd revamped so bad. 
Um, I don't know why. I've just... I'm not, I haven't even gotten a chance to play actual D&D yet, but I just really, like, just like this. So, I bought it. My plan is to actually swap the campaign in these. And I want to swap it into the Bunkers and Badasses system. So, we're going to figure out how I can do that. I'm going to try my best to do that. Um, for later things, I did get the D&D books that are essential. So that if I have... Yeah, like if the guys want to play actual D&D, &D, which they might might not I have my brother does play D&D &D and stuff like that So that's fine. Um, we can do that same thing at the bottom. I got vampire the masquerade It's just something for us to play If they if they just like get a dry spell with bunkers and badasses I, You don't want to keep playing the same game over and over and over again um, You want to switch it up once in a while just so you don't kill it for everybody. Here's some more of the minis for the vampire set as well. Um, all of these things are going to be used in my bunkers of badasses. So these are just some things I put up in the room. Um, that's my hundred dollar dice. Uh, these are some minis that I've worked on. You, you guys should have seen at least these four finished. These two I have not yet done. Um, here I think these are more campaigns and stuff for D and D that I'm trying to swap over. Same thing with this. I want to swap this campaign over to. Um, Barkers and Badasses. Here are some different, you know, terrain that I can use for Barkers and Badasses that I have yet to get to. Um, these came in mystery boxes, so that's pretty cool. These are the vampires that you saw over on the table, ready to work on. These are paint sets that came in mystery uh, boxes. And this is like more miscellaneous stuff that I've had for the minis and stuff. So, you know... There's a lot here, but 95, 98% of this is all actually for Bunkers of Badasses. I just got a lot of stuff to try to, like, swap into that system for the guys so we can still play some of these things and I don't have to really think too hard on making a story. When I have one already, like, kind of made out, I have a big idea of what I want to do and how they're going to do things. Um, I just got to write it completely out and... In the meantime, I can do these things so that they can, you know, go with it. I don't think it would be too hard to swap it into the system. You just kind of give them the enemies and just go. Um, down here is actually two drawers. So these drawers, right, one is full of terrain and, like, roads and stuff for our campaign. The other one's full of snacks because my girl, when she comes over, I, I just wanted her to have snacks up here. So she got snacks. But, yeah, that is basically everything. I haven't really done anything with this. It just has some things that I need, like glue and terrain, uh, like um, tufts and shit like that. Um, but it's way more open. I love the fact that I have this set up like this. I can just literally come in here, sit down, lights there, camera stands there. I can just videotape what I need to videotape here. I have, next to the AC unit, I have my ring light so I can bring that into the other room if I need to do that in a make a video in the Borderlands collection room. Um, this room will, you know, be a little bit different. As time goes by, you're gonna see Wonderlands banners up and stuff like that. Um, also, a Stranger Things poster is gonna go up in here somewhere because my girl said, you're gonna put this up. And I said, all right, I'm doing it, girl. I'm doing it. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. And I'm really excited to start making content on the PS5 because that is gonna be pretty cool. Because I think there's a way you could do it all in 4K. And you can upload it straight from there. That's cool shit. It's going to make content so much better for you guys. So, yeah. Well, guys, I really hope that this gave you some sort of insight of where I've been at and why it's been taking me so long to get some sort of video out to you guys. Um, hopefully, in the next week or so, I can get back into the swing of things where I can just be steadily making content. It might not be every day, but try to be like an every other day type of situation where I can get something working out. Cause you know, I, I've been going out and hanging out with my girlfriend. I mean, she's, I'm having so much fun with her. So, um, yeah, this is all set up, ready to go. I cannot wait to start making more content in this room for you guys. I have so much space, it's amazing. Remember to leave this video a huge like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you are interested in Nerdvana Games, Bunkers and Badasses, um, go ahead and check their website out and Order one of the box sets. It's really good. I bought two of them. One to keep open, one to keep sealed. And 
if you do, and you're creative, try to swap their bases out because it's always fun to make minis into your own um, and paint them. Like that's what you're. You don't have to paint them, but it's fun to paint them. It, that's just like part of the hobby. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. And as always, I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.